Okay, this is the third of my little talks in this series from, uh, from Latvia. And in this I want to really not just try and lay down the law, try and tell you what to think or, or what's right or what's wrong, but actually to invite comment in, in the areas that I want to just lay out. Because this is about the Planetary Impact Index. It's about a way in which we might be able to resolve all of the problems that we have in the world at the minute. Because I think everyone concedes that the world is in a state just now. And anyone who can, can look towards the future can see that, that, that there's going to be some kind of tension relating to resources. There are going to be resource wars. The, the changes in the environment resulting from global warming, the changes in, in uh, the, the quantity of resources which, which are fueling the economic system at the moment, which seems to be one that is intent on destroying everybody and is probably what is behind the concerns that I have, or we all have, that there will be the final nuclear war. And, and, and this economic system is not only just destroying us uh, in terms of the, the uh, conflict between the nations that exist on Earth. It's destroying us, as I said before, as a result of the releases to the environment of these substances which cause all the ill health in the children and the, and the ill health in, in the adults. Uh, and let, let there be no mistake that the adults also are, are suffering. In fact, in the last year we have seen the life expectancy of women has now reduced, is now going down. So although we saw as a result of all these developments in medical care and technology, and particularly these substances which can treat cancer, although not cure it, so that people just walk about like zombies, you know, with all their hair falling out and, and in, in desperate pain, but they don't actually die. Um, so there has been this increase in the lifespan because of these, these developments, these technological fixes. The reality is that people are more sick than they used to be, and now we can see that in the statistics as the lifespan of women start to fall, start to reduce. And it will only be a matter of time now before the lifespan of men starts to reduce as well. And the reason for these reductions are not only the substances which exist now, which are contaminating our children now, as they get born now, but we can see the results of the contamination of the cohorts of people who were born after the Second World War. Because those people, and particularly the women, who were born between 1959 and 1963, which was the peak in the atmospheric testing, those women are now moving into the cancer age group. Cancer goes up like this as you get older, uh, and it starts to cut in between the ages of 45 and 55. And those people, those people who were born between 1960, 1959 and 1963, on the peak of the fallout, when the strontium was in the milk and the strontium was in their bones, as, a, as was measured, and you can see all of the measurements in, in Wings of Death and in other publications, those people are now moving into the cancer age group and they are all dying of cancer. So this is why the age, age um, expectancy, the life expectancy of women is reducing. All right, enough of that. Which what? is also an interesting question about the treatments they get, isn't it? Well, of about course, the, the, yes. Well, the treatment, health services. The, the treatments um, that they get. Which is also a system of nuclear war. In, in, is a, is a, yeah, radiotherapy and so forth. Well, what that does is it keeps you alive a bit longer. And that raises the issue about quality of life, you know, because maybe people don't, don't want to be kept alive longer if they're kept alive at such an expense. But, but you know, there are also treatments, and, and the health system is also one of the systems of nuclear war systems, isn't it? The healthcare system is, is, a, is a sticking plaster that is put onto a situation where people are being poisoned systematically, not only through the chemicals and the radiation, but through their lifestyle. People are put under massive stress as a result of the, 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 the um, 
unfairness of the economic system and the fact that some people have to, and it's not new, but of course at the moment it's institutionalized, people have to work to themselves to, literally to death. And of course they die in other ways as well, because the stresses that are imposed on them as a result of the type of work that they have to do, which is, which, which is soul-destroying, actually is soul-destroying. And so we see this in increased mental illness and increased uh, suicide rates and increased divorces and increased uh, just straight unhappiness. And of course unhappy people are not people that produce good governments, they're not people who will vote for good governments, and as a result of that we have this sort of appalling political systems that we have at the moment that are, are kind of so self-destructive and destructive of the people that they are supposed to represent. And what this, what this development, this uh, planetary impact index idea is, is to try and get all of the wise men and wise women in the, in the world together to, to help to put a number on each of the things that we do. Now this might sound difficult, but it's not difficult. If you take everything that people do, and this includes work, it includes health, it includes exposure to radioactivity, exposure to chemical pollutants, um, it includes the amount of spare time you have for just enjoying yourself, folk dancing, singing, you know, creating baths with work, going fishing, whatever, things that, that, that primitive man did all the time. And even in the Middle Ages, where they only worked half of the year, and if you look back and you look at historical descriptions of, of work in the Middle Ages, you find that people then worked about 180 days out of 365. And now in America, people work all the time. They work all the time. And this is considered to be the norm. And more every day, too. Yes, and longer hours, too. Uh, and, 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 and all for what? And all for what? To produce a system that goes round and round and round and round, producing substances which people, sell, well, not substances, but products that people sell to each other through advertising, more work. And as a, as a result of this, people get ill and they go into hospital, more work, and they die, more work. All of these things, all of these aspects of human behavior and human endeavor are monetarized. And the more monetary exchanges occur, the more um, rich the society is that, that measures these things through their gross, gross national products and gross domestic products and all of these indices that economists have developed. So they say. So what we have to do with the Planetary Impact Index, and, and uh, it's too complicated really for me to just explain how it's done here, um, but it's not, it's not particularly difficult, it's just a bit tedious, is to get together a group of wise people to, to look at every single aspect of human behavior and human endeavor and to put some number on it, which enables us to decide how good it is or how bad it is. So uh, we can say that a number of naught is absolutely terrifyingly awful and it will kill you. So we can say that nuclear war, for example, would have a number of zero. And then you can go through to something which is, which is really great, that you may say is fantastically fine, which would be sitting out in the sun with a bottle of wine and your girlfriend playing the violin or, or whatever, or dancing in some folk festival, enjoying yourself, doing the sorts of things that when you were a little girl or a little boy made you smile and made your heart brim up with, with love and happiness. And we could give that, say, 50. It doesn't matter, 100, whatever. The point is we try to devise a scale that, that enables us to decide what things we want and what things we don't want. And we can use this, then when we've done this, we can use these indices, this planetary impact index, in order to provide uh, financial disincentives as a government or, or even, even as people who are voting. We can say that we don't want things that have zero uh, zero index and we do want things that want index of 50 and if something comes along and has an index of 51 then we'll try and move in the direction uh, of, 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 of altering our behavior so that we move from 50 to 51 so it produces a kind of pressure on every society to make them move in the direction 
of what we might consider to be good and move away from the direction of what we might consider to be bad. And in this area we should consider the military, which we of course would give a very low number to. Because not only do the military engage in killing people and in brutalizing the people that work for them, and in taking our children away from us so that they become brutalized and think that killing something with a gun is good, or being able to kill somebody with a gun at a very long distance, they would get a special badge for that. Um, this system needs to be given a very, very low level of, 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 of a very low numerical number. And, and not only is, is that the case, but of course the amount of money involved in the military is astronomical. Uh, Alexei Yablokov was with me once in Oxford talking about this, and he said if we imagine all of the money in the world as a chessboard, 64, 8, 8, 64 chess black and white squares, then all of the money that everybody uses for hospitals and education and social services and taking out the, dis the bins and getting rid of the sewage and bringing in your water, all of that is one square of the chessboard. And all of the other squares of the chessboard is military spending. And you may find this a bit, a bit, a bit impossible to believe, but I can tell you that one cruise missile, one single cruise missile, costs more than a million dollars. And you imagine how many of those things that get shot around in the Iraqi wars. Off they go, and you've got a million dollars. I mean, I was in the Balkans and I saw the destruction uh, uh, caused in Kosovo by the use of United States um, cruise missiles, and some of them were depleted uranium warheads. And you had to think that each one of those cost a million dollars. Just think how much... Good, how many good works you could do with the amount of money that was just fired into the Balkans. Planning mass murder. Yeah, killing people as well. Right. Well, this is, this, is, this, is good. this is necessary. We have to do this because there are going to be resource wars. If we, if we continue with the economic system we have at the moment, just fueling the economic system in terms of energy, nuclear power, uh, burning coal, producing carbon dioxide, bringing gas out of the ground, all of this stuff is going to create an impossible situation where the economic structures of each nation are going to be at risk because of the economic structure of another nation. And this is ultimately why the Americans want to, kill, want to blow up Russia. This is basically behind it. This is why all the pressure is being put at the moment by the CIA and all of these people funded by the CNA, CIA on Putin, all of this stuff in Ukraine, all of the stuff in, 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 the, Bal in the Baltic states now. We're seeing beginnings of the same sort of approach. And the reason is that Russia has enormous economic resources in the ground. And the Americans have spent all of their ground resources. They've run out of money and they've got nowhere to go. And because of that, because they have to continue to fuel their, 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 their disgraceful uh, system of, of a political system, they have to, they have to destroy, destroy their main enemy and obtain their resources in some way. Just as they destroyed Saddam Hussein, just as they destroyed uh, Colonel Gaddafi, and they tried to destroy the Syrians, and they're trying to destroy the Iranians, and since 1952 have tried to destroy just about everybody in the whole world. Um, these people are now intent on destroying the Russians for this reason, and so this is why we have to take control of this ourselves and find some way of stopping it. Then, of course, we have the economic system. We have to consider that, the way in which economics, as I said earlier, actually uh, gives a positive number, a positive number, to things that we would consider to be negative. So in other words, it includes things that are horrifyingly bad and adds them to the gross national product. It doesn't actually pay for people to have babies. It doesn't, have to, it doesn't pay for people to have families. It, it fragments families. It doesn't pay for women to work in the home. All of these things that the feminists pointed out, but are nonetheless, nonetheless true for all of that. And then we have to consider work. The fact that at the moment everybody works all the time, we have to consider whether that's a good way. I mean, perhaps people could work less. Perhaps could people, I mean, I, I, according to Andre Gortz, the philosopher, a system, a quite easy system exists for people to work three months in a year, or three years in ten years. And, we could, and, and the rest of the time you could just do as you please. You could do as you please. You could play the violin, drink your wine, do folk dancing, and so forth. 
um, then we have to consider land. Who owns the land? Who owns the land? And what's, being used? what's it being used for? At the moment, what happens is somebody buys the land and sits on it in order to make a profit. But there are all these young people out there who could go onto the land, who could grow things. But why, why don't they? Why can't they? Because somebody owns it and they won't let them, that's why. And that's an economic issue as well. Then we have energy. At the moment, we're just using the energy that we have on this planet. It's been left to us by, in, by evolution. So substances that have been here for billions of years, we're just digging them out of the ground and burning them up merrily to produce energy that will do what? That will produce plastic toilet roll holders. I mean, you walk down any high street and you look to see what's in the window. They're all the things that are being sold. It's, it, it's, it's all being produced by energy. Energy that's been pulled out of the ground. And our children will then not have this energy. And then they will all freeze. But they'll have plastic toilet roll holders. Then we have to consider water. The water's polluted. The air is polluted. And utility. Well, this is an interesting thing. Utility basically has been stolen. And so you have rich people who have power and poor people who have no power. And you have democratic systems which are worthless. Because, as de Tocqueville pointed out in the 20s, um, democracy can be controlled through the media. And so the people who own the media can make people vote in any direction they want to. So these are all things that I want you to consider. I want you to consider. Okay? I'm not going to come and lay down the law and say, well, we should do this, we should do that. I'm just saying that we should do something. And what we want is all the independent thinkers in the world, all the clever people, you know, and I'm not talking about people with university degrees or, or, or PhDs or, or lecturers at university. Like we just want philosophers. We want people who sit back and thought about this and have thought, well, look, I would like to try and figure out whether it's good or bad to have a plastic toilet roll holder. Okay? So that's it. That's what this is for. That's what we're starting here. That's the beginning of it. The ball is now rolling and it's up to you. Thank you. Let the Planetary Impact Index Institute solve the major problems of our lifetime. Let it happen. <laughs>